Hi boys and girls, it's Miss Brooks. I brought you out to my yard to show you a little of my gardening. Behind me is a jasmine. Beside it is a succulent garden in the bird bath. I'm going to take you around the yard and show you some plants. Most of the plants I show you will be flowering and they will be perennials, meaning they come back year after year. I'm going to share my irises with you. These roots came back from my mother's house and they have spread rapidly here. So they are happy in their North, new North Carolina. Another favorite of my flowering perennials is my hydrangea. This comes back every year. It does die down in the winter. You can see the brown sticks and um, usually we try to break all those off by, um, I think it's the last weekend in July. Sometimes we don't get them off until August, but we try to get them off so it comes back with more greenery. This is a hydrangea. My hydrangeas usually don't bloom till June and July, but some start in May and June. These are two of my large peonies that I grew from roots, and I just ordered four more roots. These two plants will now be transplanted this week into the landscaped area around the home, in the yard, and I will plant the new roots in here. I, when you start growing peonies, they come as a root. This plant dies back in the winter and it comes back each spring. Hi. My peony roots came in today and I'm getting ready to plant one. I just planted two in this pot. Planter. And in this one, this is what the roots look like. This is a bag, large bag of potting soil. You plant the root side down, and you can tell that the bottom part that I have facing down is the root. I made a hole with it into the dirt with my bulb planter, and then I put the root in the dirt, and now I am covering it back up. I'm not doing a very good job of holding the camera still, though, am I? Now the roots are covered. There's two roots in each of the pots that I'm working on. And I'll cover it with some more potting soil. But I planted two roots in each of these pots. So next year, I, or later this year, probably next year, I will have four new peonies. So. In case you've never planted um, a root that turns into a perennial shrub, I thought you might enjoy seeing that. Have a great afternoon. Bye. I finally have a peony blooming to show you. The pink full bloom. They're very fragrant. Confederate Jasmine. See if you can see my little friend I call Lizzie, who loves to live in our yard. Loves all of our green greenery. Confederate Jasmine has done very well here. down to the vegetable garden. In the raised beds we have green beans growing. In between the raised beds are tomato plants. On the other side of the raised beds are cucumbers and cantaloupes. 
and in the front potatoes and green peppers this is a family project everyone in the family participates we try to have two crops each summer one for consuming fresh in the summer and one for canning and freezing for the winter months everyone in the family participates in the garden and it takes several weeks to till and prepare the dirt before it's time to plant the vegetables the garden is a little messy right now from the storm so i'm not really venturing in and it's much prettier when all the vegetables are growing and they're just starting to grow that last bed of green beans looks like it's doing very well And the cantaloupes and cucumbers look like they're doing well. And the potatoes are starting in the very front. I hope to bring you back in a couple weeks when the plants are growing more.